Hey guys, today we're working on something very interesting. Uh, this is a uh, this is a controller, Bluetooth controller that I use with um, tablets and phones and computers. Uh, obviously, it resembles a PS3 controller. Uh, it's a Bluetooth controller, but unfortunately, I haven't used this one in a long, long time, and the battery got drained. So when you press the home button, nothing happens. Otherwise, there would be some LED lights here that would show up. Um, I tried charging it using a battery and also the um, also the uh, power plug, uh, phone charger and you know it stays like that uh, obviously the battery lights up uh, it's trying to charge but the thing is not taking the charge and LED, as I said LEDs, LED lights are not uh, turning on and this battery is kind of a little smart so if there is no charge load on the other end or the load is very small it's gonna turn off so what I'm thinking um, this thing obviously has a battery inside and there is a possibility that battery in it and it got over discharged and then it's preventing a circuit from kicking in and starting to start to charge again so I'm just gonna open it up and then we're gonna see if we can kick start it um, I got some other batteries here that I can hook up and test out so we'll we'll see how that goes so first of all I'm gonna take these um, how many uh, seven screws and expose the inward inner works of the um, controller all right so with uh, screws out of the way I'm just gonna open it up slowly all right and here is the battery okay cool all right um so i'm just gonna check the voltage on this thing before before i go any further so let's see what can we measure up okay and we're getting getting zero volts okay that explains it so this battery is obviously completely discharged I think it's held by uh, double-sided tape okay all right so yeah I don't want to wreck this thing up so I'm just gonna try to pry it out let me see if I can all right, I got some additional tools that will help me out. So um, I'm I'm just gonna try to unplug the battery first, and then we'll see uh, from there what we're gonna do. So this is JST connector, and it's giving me a little problem, but not too much. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do. Oh, these are fake rumble motors damn okay so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna see if I have battery that has connector like that and I do this is a battery that I salvaged from uh, e-cigarette and um, they're supposed to be one-time use but I've been using it for a while for testing project and stuff like that so I'm gonna plug in this battery and see if we can get some light out of it so just to make sure that this thing is gonna work Alright, let's see if we get a light. Oh, yeah. Very faint light, but that's a good sign. So that means the battery was a problem. And now we're charging it. So that's even better. Uh, I believe if I hold this for five seconds, it's gonna turn off. Yep. Unplug it. And plug it back in. So I'm definitely going to take this battery out. So 
sometimes these double-sided foams are awesome but most of the time they're a pain in the butt especially when you try to take something off so I'm gonna try to be gentle because I don't want to damage anything I just want to detach this battery off I know you should have used plastic sponger. But this, if you're careful, this works too. All right, I got the battery out. So this battery has a shrink tubing around itself. So opening it up, it's gonna be a little bit of a little challenge, but gonna be really careful and try to do so okay okay I like how nicely this peels off So it goes two ways. It goes like that and it goes like that. I'm just gonna step here. See if I can peel it this way. This does not look good. Oh, this one's corroded really bad. Yeah. Yep, this battery cell is really dead. So. Yeah. All right. So at least we know, so this cell leaked and that's why it's dead. Okay, so if I plug this cell in, question is, will it work properly? Um, I don't know, this, this cell is pretty small and I'm not sure if it's gonna last if I put it in. Okay. So the voltage is getting there, but well, it's not charging here. 4.25. Oh, that's why, because the battery is already full. That's why it's not charging. Okay, that's that's cool. All right, so I'm, for the time being, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this battery in for the time being. I'm gonna try to use it, see if this is gonna work like that. Um, I think I have another one that's similar to this one and I'm gonna see if I can get that one but for now I think this is working and I'm just gonna put this back together all good oh yeah it's good it's good it's good, it's good. Um, just a little bit of issue of putting the bed together but yep that's that's about it yeah okay awesome Could put back the screws
Okay, so to, to get into the pairing mode, you need to press X and then hold uh, home button and then it starts flashing fast and then if you scan for the device it's gonna show up I think it's one of these two, I'm not sure what this one? oh yep that's the controller alright get a connection okay oh yep oh baby Um, oh no, okay, and this is back, okay, and then I can change the mode, oh yeah, oh ho ho, all right, awesome, all right, that was a quick fix, so basically, yeah, the battery on, on this little guy was really bad, uh, it leaked out, and it was beyond repair uh, I put in a random battery that I had uh, that I salvaged um, I salvaged from uh, e-cigarette and I had a JST connector on it I plugged it in and it works fine um, of course the capacity on this thing is like insanely small I think these are maybe uh, 500 milliamp hours and that little battery is probably like 60 80 milliamp hours but I'm gonna find a new one uh, but anyway we, we got this thing to work uh, we we changed the battery and and now it's good to go and it's even lighter which is awesome all right guys I, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it uh, if you didn't wait for the next one and hopefully you like that one uh, anyway thank you once again see you next time and stay creative